Well, there's no such thing as neutrality in the Christian life. We're either moving forward, we're either drawing near to God, or we're drifting away from Him. We're either walking with Christ or we're backsliding. Uh, we're either growing or we're declining, but we don't stay still. And we don't really continue to grow, we don't continue to walk with God unless we are heedful and watchful of our ways. We know that prayer is necessary for the Christian life. We know that meditation on scripture is necessary for a healthy, flourishing Christian life. Uh, but also watchfulness is necessary and sometimes is neglected. But Jesus said, watch and pray uh, to his disciples lest you enter into temptation. Paul said we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. But many times Christians today are ignorant of Satan's devices and we're not wary, we're not watchful. So lack of watchfulness is always going to lead into greater and greater vulnerability towards temptation and towards sin. The benefits of watchfulness are, are many, but perhaps the greatest benefit of watchfulness is closer fellowship with Jesus. So there's a sweetness to fellowship with Christ that only those who are in fellowship with Christ realize how, how wonderful it is uh, when, we're, when we don't desire that fellowship, when we're not afraid of losing that fellowship, we're probably already off our watch. We've already begun to drift. But when we're close to Jesus, we want to maintain that closeness. We don't want to do anything to, to threaten that closeness. We're like the spouse in the Song of Songs who after she found her lover said, I held him and I would not let him go. And that's the heart of watchfulness. And that's why it's so precious. That's why it's so beneficial because it keeps us close to Jesus Christ.